I, we got to find a piece of music for uh, Mayor Mark Bout. So as soon one. as you hear it, you know right. that the mayor is joining us. Or, or we could just tell people, joining the show now, Danbury Mayor Mark Bout. Hey, Mark. Hey, guys. How you doing? Yeah, yeah you can got to tee me up better than that. But it's more show busy I, oh, okay. if we have a piece we, of music. I see what you're saying. You guys want a little pizzazz. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to tee me up, man. Do you, you, gotta, uh, you, do you have any, uh, any preferences? You got to give me a bump as they're coming in. Um, yeah, yeah, any preferences at all? No, you pick. You okay. Know, all right. <laughs> Maybe sorry you said that. First question. No, that was a mistake. First question. <laughs> I was wondering if yeah, maybe we Come could on, give me the question. If we on, could get a on. little bit more construction on the roads. <laughs> <laughs> Ring the pain, huh? <laughs> Over off exit six. There you are six. people listening right now going, "All he's doing is laughing." That's all he's doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's funny when you got to get somewhere. Um, we need 17 cop cars or, uh, over there just to, you know, hang out. Somebody's yeah. got to. Well, yes, have... it's very important to have 17, maybe 18 today. Things All go right. well. I, agree, I actually agree with the amount of cop cars that are there because if they're not, people act, start acting loopy. Safety is, yeah, actually, in that area, they do because it has been uh, a major inconvenience for people. But, you know, it's the state of Connecticut's project. They're, it's going to be over in August. Of 2017, so we only got another year to go. All right, fantastic. Uh, I thought you were going to say 2025. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I got to ask you this: a whole any problems in uh, Danbury about Pokemon Go? People playing the, the game around town and getting um, in the way? We, yeah, I, you know, I almost got by a car the other day chasing one across the street. But um, <laughs> other than that, it, it's been pretty good. We got uh, we are putting out a list of Pokemon Go rules. Okay. Uh, you know, just look, you know, kind of uh, some some uh, best practices, if you will. Yeah, like not stopping the in the middle of the street. <laughs> yeah, we were doing a, uh, we had a Lebanese uh, flag racing ceremony on Sunday. Okay. And two kids literally, like, busted right through the crowd <laughs> while raising, <laughs> looking at their phones, chasing some stupid Pokemon thing oh, oh, yeah. around. I'll kill it if I see that Pokemon. <laughs> I know, but I'm surprised, I'm so surprised to hear you say that because you, 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 Bite on all these dumb trends. You're all over. You're all over the. I tried it once. I, I didn't. I don't get it. Yeah. You throw the ball at the Pokemon, and then you got to go. It's stupid. And I'll I'll stomp. I'll give a Danbury stomp on. There'll be like a prison yard stomp when I see the Pokemon. <laughs> I can't find any Pokemon things. No, you think, I got two. You know, this is not for us. Let's just put it that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we read that uh, the city's clamping down on uh, people riding dirt bikes and ATVs where they shouldn't be. Yeah, we are uh, absolutely doing that. Um, it's a little bit of it's. It's become sort of a thing, you know, and, and not so bad in Danbury, but in other communities like Waterbury and uh, Hartford and New Haven and places like that, uh, it's really blown up where people just ride them in the middle of the street in the middle of the traffic. So, um, listen, if the way the new law is going to work is if, uh, uh, you know, we, we can give you up to a $1,000 fine. If we catch you again, we're just, we can take your uh, ATV. And now, the great thing about it is we can keep it and auction it off. Like that. Um uh, yeah, I may just sign one to the mayor's office so I can tool around a little bit yeah. and, uh, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, it is a problem. It's been a nuisance. Uh, we've had a lot of complaints from residents. And, you know, you live in a city, right? So why would you have an ATV? I, it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. It's not like you're in, uh, you know, uh, Kentucky somewhere. I have seen them whizzing by me, though, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, really? <laughs> this is a city. What are you doing? Um, it's a need for speed. That's what uh, it is. Uh, so a little bit of that. Look, you know, we were all kids. You know, we, we, I had mini bike. I'm sure you guys had stuff like that. But a little bit different out there. A lot more traffic. And uh, you, you know, I ride my mini bike in the middle of traffic, and you know, stop at the lights and give well, motors the finger. Thanks for bringing. Like thanks for bringing that up. I was too poor to have a mini bike. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, listen, I didn't have. I, you know, too late. I'll say that's another. That's another story for another <laughs> show. Now I don't know where to begin with this Republican yeah. National Convention. Come on. It, there's so much. It's, it's like it's come like, on, it's huge. It's huge. huge. I know. It's like WWE SmackDown. It's it's just <laughs> it's amazing television. Well, where do you want to start? You tell me. Uh, you know, it's been an. It, first of all, the whole thing with Melania and the alleged plagiarism is. I think that's just silly. I don't think anybody cares. I think the press has made a a, a crazy thing about it, and they didn't handle it particularly well either. Uh, but you know. Joe Biden copied somebody's complete speech, and nobody said anything about it. Nobody's working. You know, I mean, they, they make it seem like it on TV, like all these political shows, like the West Wing. Or, you know, like you think that people are super intelligent and working and paying attention Nobody's to every working. detail. Everybody's just copying everybody. Yeah, and you know, there's a thing, right? You can you can feed your your speech or your writing right through the uh, through a, into a website, and then they scan it and they'll tell you if it's been plagiarized somewhere. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not good. But so there was that started the whole thing off, and it's kind of been downhill from there. Ted Cruz not endorsing Trump last night. What was that? Just I you know, know, you lost. You lost. You're a loser. Do the magnanimous <laughs> thing and say we wish you well. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, he needs to. I mean, Christie didn't like uh, Trump, but he once he knew the writing was on the wall, he got on board, and, and he's playing the role he has to play now. Christie's out picking up his dry cleaning right now as we speak. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I said this morning. He's walking Trump's dog now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what, oh, uh, now the uh, when the Democratic National Convention comes up, I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, it's sort of a, a fringe weirdo story, but uh, <laughs> there is some Bernie Sanders uh, people. Plan on showing up, and the minute she accepts the nomination, they will protest with a what it was being called a fart in. They will all fart in unison, and this is real. That that'll work. That'll sway some opinion, and uh, that's huge. And yeah, it's classic. Smell the burn. Smell the burn. Don't what, 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 feel it. What else did I hear too? That, that they was what what contingency wants uh, Hillary Clinton uh, uh, shot? They want her. They want her dead because of the uh, email server and uh, that whole deal. Treason. Shot for treason. That's a little rough. Oh, you think? <laughs> yeah, it's a little rough. Yeah, a little rough. How does this work? I mean, do you get an invitation to the to the RNC? Oh, you uh, yeah, you know, you can be selected as a delegate. I I went to the last four. Um, this is the first one where I have not gone. Um, so um, uh, for a variety of different reasons, but mainly Cleveland, uh, <laughs> and because it's in Cleveland. Yeah. Um, okay. I really wasn't interested in going, but you, so uh, you can, uh, you know, you have to be selected by the Connecticut Republicans, and um, you know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, uh, I was in 2000, I was in 2004, 2008, and uh, uh, and 12. So um, I've had my fill of national conventions. They're a lot of fun, and the, believe it or not, people don't realize it. It's expensive to go. You don't it's say it's about it's about three grand by the oh. time you're done. Whoa. And what what happens you know after hours with, with all these? Uh... Oh, that's the best part. Yeah, I would I would think so. <laughs> you, you don't go to the convention. Oh no, no, no! no. You don't actually go. You, you go, but you don't go in the room. You you're too cool for that. You got to go to other places. One year was great. I snuck in to the uh, Republican governor's uh, uh, skybox oh, uh, in 2004. Yeah, and I sat down next to a young lady, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I, I was going to get a drink. I said, "Oh, can I get you a drink? I'm going to go up and get something." And she said, um, she said, no, I'm good, thanks. And I said, well, you know, what do you do here? She goes, well, I'm going to sing at the end of the show. And I go, really? And she goes, yes. And I go, and she gave me her name. And mm -hmm. it turns out she was this big country music star who I had no freaking clue who it was. And um, she did. She sang that song, I Hope You Dance. You know that song? Mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, so that was my big claim to fame. So, so, so I talked to her. For, I talked to her for about 20 minutes. I tried to mack it, and nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah you snuck in. Well, are you the mayor or Dennis the Menace? <laughs> no, you sneak in. You, you got to buy, you know, you, listen, you got to trade all these passes to all these secret parties and stuff like that. It's fun. All right. They all look blasted on the floor, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah they're, 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 they're all hung over. Everybody's right. hung over. They've been up all night. <laughs> and now well, you thought we were mad at you last week when we were yeah. out, huh? I did. I did. I was, I, I, I yes, we, we can't talk about that on the air. We just right, didn't right. bother, we just didn't bother to reach out to you and let you know we were going on vacation, so you were sitting <laughs> there waiting for a call. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was sitting there waiting for the car call, twiddling my thumbs, and uh, inspecting the fuzz of my navel, and nothing happened. <laughs> Our apologies. <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, we're going to have so much more to talk to uh, talk to you about, you know, coming up as these things even ramp up even more. So we appreciate your time, and we'll talk to you next week. Danbury Mayor Mark Bowden. Thanks, Mark. All right. Peace and love. Nice. Right. There you go. Appreciate it. He's getting better. He's getting better every week. <laughs> I think he likes this more than he wants to admit. I think so, too. I think he's enjoying this very, very much. Yep.